Well, hello, everybody. Guess what? Create my own exchange, and this is the beginning. So I'm gonna code this sucker out from scratch. Wish me luck. No, it's gonna be easy. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be easy. We'll see. All right. So the MOMF49 exchange, and it's a lot to go into. I did some research, but as far as the decentralized exchange, most of the parameters slash legalities that go into exchanges and money, it's not that big of a deal with it, Dex. But this is just the beginning. I'll get more um, information as we go, but let me just shut up and code, okay? So we obviously we have to get the identifier, so SPDX, the license identifier unlicensed unlicensed <laughs> okay here we go and it's pro uh, pragma solidity and we're going to use version this is six of uh, 0.8.0 i don't know why it's that later version but whatever now we're going to import for hard hat console. Oh my god, this is late. So we're gonna import the hard hat console. We're also gonna import token, which is from um, the other contract I did. So it'll be I put in actually it is in the same di uh, directory. So dot, dot, token dot so, <laughs> and we'll just do like that. And we'll do like this. So now the contract will be exchanged. So that's the name of the contract. But you know what? I think I'm going to do M M O M F 49 exchange. We'll do it like that. So boom, boom. So address, public, fee, account. And we have integer 256, public. The percent we have a mapping that would be the address mapping address Ooh, okay got two <laughs> that'll be an integer 256 and that will be public tokens so we have two mappings out there now mapping Integer 256. So we've got that underscore order. All right. So that's when they order the tokens. We'll see there's a mapping of that so people can see that transparency. I believe that's what it is. Integer 256 pub, public or order count. Yeah, so they can see how many tokens were ordered, blah, blah, blah. And then you have, we have to put a map in so you can see it. And that'll be obviously integer 256, which is a value, positive value. And the bool, if it's, a, if it's a positive, then the public order canceled. Oh. oh, no, boom, there we go. And same thing. I think I... I Integer 256 pool and order filled. So either way, if it fails, obviously the order canceled. But the bool is like, it could be this or that. So I guess you have to just pass in both of them. I believe. I'm not quite sure. Now we have to pass in an event. Deposit. Yeah, that's right. See, the more I do this, the more my, even when I think I make a mistake, I don't. <laughs> God like of me. But I still make mistakes. I'm not I'm, I'm me. It's not that I'm human, I'm just me. Oh, I actually boom. Yep, yep. Integer. Oh, come on, brother. Hey, come on, man. Balance. Okay, so I got that. Now we have to put the um explanation the semicolons underneath that. Not here because I have to close in the array there. Okay, so we got that. Let's see. Now we have to do with the um That's an event, the order, which will be an event. So in order to do the order, we need the integer ID, ID, lowercase, address, user, uh-huh, 
address. I like events. <laughs> they're just, they're kind of easy. Integer 256, amount. Uh-oh, amount. Yeah, as I say that, I'm like, I'll mess up. Address, amount, give. Let me just bring this up a little something, something, something. Do a little save. Um, you know, integer, that was, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. Address. Token. Wait a minute. Okay. <sighs> okay, here we go. We have the ID, the user, address user, address, address token get. Now we have the integer amount get, address token give. To token give. Address token give. Then we have an integer amount give all right there we go they have the integer time stamp this is time for the blockchain you know boom boom so remember when i put the comma there but we're gonna close it with the <sighs> we're gonna close it with uh, the semicolon okay now we're gonna do another event it's called you can't cancel my token. Yo, no, I can't do that. I'm not allowing that. I'm joking. I don't care. None of this really matters, man. I just want to... Honestly, folks, I literally want... I'm, I just saw Sam Bankman free may have defrauded the public again. I just saw that with a, a Coinbase uh, meme coin called Bald. And it's the bald head of the Coinbase founder... And a whale came in and took all the liquidity after it went up like a million percent. I am sick of the fraud. And I know you guys and ladies and boys and girls are too. You got to. This is absolutely stupid at this point. Why can't people just be cool? I'm not joking. That's why. Here it is. I'm giving a dissertation. That's why with me. When all this is said and done and, and up and running, you know, I, I, that's why I'm giving half of half of the company back every month. So I'm I don't want the money, I just want trust. I want stability if possible. I hope, I hope my idea works. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. You know, timestamp. Boom. There we go. I like this. Like I said, this is proprietary. This this code right there, I created it. Well, you know, AI helped. Yeah, I really did it. But I put the prompt in there, gave it exactly what I wanted. And here it is. I'm getting every okay, boom, hold on. Teacher 256. Okay, sorry. ID. Can I just copy and paste it? I could, but then I won't I won't be as fast. Token token get. Yeah, but like I said, everybody, I'm just like, you know, I, I love this because there are some people listening, but if not, no worries. I, I really do care. I do care. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is um, there's so much fraud going on that I want to be so transparently different. And I, I, I would basically give everything away, man, because you can always make more. Mm -hmm. Always make more. Oh, I'm sorry, my lady. I got a new lady. She's she's really beautiful, and um, yeah, <laughs> I got a new lady. She's from South Africa, and she's oh, she's smoking. And I was like, I that was unexpected. Anyways, um, did I just do something wrong? I know I did. I, well, it's the same thing, right? <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so that was the trade. The times. The, what was this up there? Cancel. Yeah, cancels up here. Okay, so for trade is the ID user token get amount get token give amount give. Oh, oh, oh that's why I mess up. Okay, so for the trade ID user, so I'm talking too much. Token get amount get token give amount give. It's one more, Bubba. one more. Address creator. Boom. I don't know if that's me or somebody else, but we'll see. So we're done with the uh, event. Now we're going to do a strut, and that's underscore uh, order. Okay. Okay. Boom, boom. We're going to pass in this. So attributes. 
attributes of an order. It did, oh, 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 I didn't say order cancel now. See, you're you tripping, man. Oh, I didn't say that either. I said integer. Okay, integer 256 ID. So we have to pass that. And that's the unique identifier. Did I spell that right? Unique identifier for order. Got that. Let's bring that up. So that's unique identifier. That's a struct for the order. Okay, let me bring this up. This is so much fun. This is a long one, though. This is like almost 300 lines of code. So I'm going to do 100, stop. Part two will be 100, stop. Part three will be 100. So that way, you know, just make it interesting, man. You know what I mean? Okay, sorry. <clears throat> I'm just uh, thinking about me, how crazy I am. Who may, I said, if anybody sees this later on, they're going to be like, wow, this guy <laughs> was kind of loony. But as long as this works, I'll be as loony as it gets. I don't care. Because, like I said, you have people like a hole over there defrauding people. Was he supposed to be in jail? Now he's back in jail, to be honest with you. Um, something happened. You, you can take a look. This is. um. August 13th, Sunday, August 13th, is 4.22 a.m. Arizona time. So I think it's like 5 p. 22 p.m. Thailand time. Okay, let me shut up. I just took him to get. But it's important for all of us to be in the know of this, in the know. Yeah, receive. I don't know why I'm, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Receive, okay. Integer 256, amount, get. Oh, I do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, amount get is amount, yeah, they receive. Get the address, token give. I just token give is address of token a give no address of token they, they give um, address of token they give no 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 see yeah yeah y'all trying to mess with me integer okay amount give amount they give integer Time stamp a when order was created. This is a good code. I'm, I'm gonna make it work, but this is a good, good beginning code. Constructor so address underscore fee account. So that doesn't change. 256 underscore a fee percent. No per. <laughs> Sorry, set. Is it perfect? Yeah, I'm perfect. Fee account equals underscore fee account. Fee percent. No. Percent equals underscore uh, fee percent. You got that. And I have to put these in there. I always forget that. Boom, boom, boom. So we got that. So we close that out. Alrighty, we're at sixty-five lines of code. So now we're going to do this. Oh. Deposit. Nah, bruh. Nah, deposit. There you go. And withdraw token. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't think so. Yeah, there you go. Um, what is it? Cont whatever, control Z. Just keep doing that. So if you have a coding and it goes lowercase for whatever freaking reason, just control Z, control Z. If you definitely if you did capitalization on me, okay? All right, now we're at the function. God darn it. My fingers are big. We will continue, not like that, deposit. Okay, let me just bring this up. All right. Woo. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Deposit token, right? Deposit token. We have to pass an address, underscore token. 
integer to be six underscore amount. So obviously token address and amount, and we're gonna make it public, public. But we also pass in this. We're gonna pass in the transfer tokens to exchange. Oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, M O M F, not just exchange. Yeah, but it require token underscore token. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> transfer from message that sender uh oh address which is this it's a lot though let's go amount Woo! it looks good to me update user balance tokens right I'm passing this token uh, <laughs> Message that says ah, sender. I ain't gonna lie. If I am having sunglasses, I probably can see a little bit better, but I ain't taking them off because this is who I am. I'm me, and I'm not changing for nobody except for the lady I'm seeing. I, I, she told me to take them off and say, Yes, ma'am. I'm no dummy. Yeah, I ain't going against any woman. Nope. And for y'all fools that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic. No, it's not. Um just respect your women and respect your men and then we'll live in a better place. That's the rebound. Um here we go. Boom, 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 boom. See how quickly got off the topic though. Um anyways. Don't listen to me, just look at my code. Tokens, then we're gonna pass in let's go token. They're gonna pass. Oh no, no, no! They're gonna pass in the message that send ah sender, right? But that, that, that. We're gonna do like that. Okay, so that was a mint an event. We still got that. Woo! We're doing good, everybody. So now we have another function with draw token. See, I'm telling you, like I feel I'm so much more confident than a month ago. Definitely than a couple weeks ago too. It's just, it just makes sense when you start really working with this but i understand now still got a long way to go in a short time to get there anybody know the, the song to that movie move to that song <laughs> my brain neither or do you know it i'll give you a second either has enough tokens to with Draw. Okay, now we have to. Uh uh, no, no, no. See, now now I'm on it. I know if I hit that and it doesn't go to the other line, it did some other crap. Where are we? Withdraw token. So we have to re require um, oops, tokens. Underscore token. Message.sender. Amounts. Uh, no. No, no, oh no, no, I'm on the wrong line. Require tokens, let's go to a message out sender. Oh no, oh, I'm just gonna go right back here. We have to close that sucker up right there. And then we have to do underscore amount. Mm -hmm. cool. So that was the function. So now we have to transfer a token to user. Wait, like you're so good at this, man. Where I really don't have to read the code, it just makes sense. Once that happens, I'm gonna code the world. I'm gonna do so much coding. I'm like, yo, we're gonna do a, a blockchain thing for microwaves, for cabinets, you name it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna code for for all companies. I'm not gonna do it for free because it'd be too long. But I'm gonna just produce code because this is where we're going, folks. Everything I'm doing right here is is it. This is the blueprint to everything that exists in the world. You'll see, two to five years is really going to become really well known. Five to ten is going to be the number one thing. So for all of us looking now, all of us that are learning the code that are that are that already know how to code, 
this is it. You're going to be the new, I'm not even talking about money-wise. It's just going to be the it person. They have to use you. They, they need you. They need you, man. Okay, let me just go. Let me just go ahead and poke it. I, I truly feel that. Like, that's why I, this, out of everything I'm doing, even the other part of the project, I love this. This is so much fun. And I'm trying to figure out in real time what, what, Less than one person watching, but you know what? No, that's not true. I hope it's not true. How's that? I'll give me less than one. I'm watching. Anyways, uh, as I, this is how I get through it, though. I'm a little crazy. Token. God done it. Okay. User balance. Okay, token. Token. Message that sender once again. User, uh, I'm sorry, update user balance, right? Tokens, I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. This is that sender, boom, equals tokens. I have to pass in this, underscore token. You know what? Uh, my lady in South Africa said it's, it's winter here. It just hit me. I'm like, um, I'm supposed to go see him. I'm like, what the hell? I don't know. You might fly back to Thailand. Man. There's some over here. They ain't, a, they ain't a pool. I was just in the pool yesterday. I don't want to go to winter time. Man. She might have to come bring her butt back here. Mm -hmm. She don't want to go to a winter, wintry spot. I don't want to even be in America when it's winter. Hell no. Okay, let me just event token message dot. Sender underscore amount tokens so token message dot sender. Oh no, don't you go away on me. <laughs> Let's go down. Go away. I'm gonna do a function so we can get out of there. Okay. Function. I'm gonna end with the function. How about that, y'all? Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> wait, wait till you. Hello. No, that, that was right. Sorry. Function balance of address underscore token address underscore user. We're going to make this a public. Why? 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 Why is like that? I'm, I want to just follow their lead. Screw that. Public view returns an integer interesting how they did this i think it's i messed up somewhere but turn tokens underscore token underscore user okay maybe i didn't uh, mess that up okay so then we go here here then that's what we do. We just end it there. Okay, for now. For now. Actually, let me do this. This is going to blow your mind. No, it's not going to blow no one's mind. No, nope, that's not it. That's not going to blow your mind. But this shit. I'm not even joking. Remember I said I want to can uh, cancel. I want to stop at line 100. Cancel orders. This is where we are. So guess what? Tomorrow's episode will be making cancel orders. It just happened to work out like that. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to just go like this. See you later, everybody. Thank you for hanging with me. Oh, you know what? We do have time. Let me go over the code. The best of my ability. Okay, thank you. All right, so here we go. Real quick. Boom. The license identifier, the pragma, the solidity contract in the version. We have to import hard hat console.soul. I guess it's coming from the pragma, the solidity. I don't know. But I do know I created the token already. So I actually, it might be. It may be MOMF49 token. At the. I have to look at that from the address. But anyways, so the contract is the MOMF Man of Many Faces 49 Exchange. So we need the address with the fee account, the fee. The... See? Fee percent. 
Then the mapping, and within the mapping is the, oh, look at that guy. That's stuff everywhere. It, it, it is have to have a, um, what do you call it? It's not a token. It has to have a numerical factor. The number of tokens, the public tokens. And then here's the order. That's the public orders. So it's a mapping of that so you can see that. And then the public order order count. Uh, integer public order count? Okay, yeah. It has to be within that contract. And you have the mapping with the bool is um, plus or minus or like true or false. So it, it basically, if it matches, if it's true, it'll be... If it's yeah, I guess if it's if it doesn't work out, if it's false, whatever, then it, the order will be canceled or order will be filled. But you have to pass in those two mappings. So I'm learning. And then here's an event to deposit. So in order to deposit, you need the token, the address of the token user. Then you need the actual um, a positive anything above zero. Basically, that's the integer 256, um, the amount and balance. Then you have an event called the order. So you need the ID user, token get, to amount get, token give, amount give, and then the timestamp of the whole thing. Cancel order, ID user, token get, amount get, token give, amount give, timestamp. So it's special with the timestamp. I want, I wonder if they can, if I can make that public. I guess it's already public because the whole contract is public. I'm not sure, but anyway, let me stop trying to act like I'm smart and think outside the box. Nope, nope. So that was cancel, right? Event trade, ID user, token get, amount get, give, give. Creators is the difference in that one. So, yeah, okay, no problem. Then the strut, the order, the attributes of an order, okay? So I like the strut too. It's just more explanation, but I guess that's how you explain everything. That's what a strut would be. The structure of everything. So the ID is the unique identifier for order. The user, the user who made order. The token get address of the token they receive. Amount get uh, amount they receive. Token give address of the token they give. Amount give amount they give. Timestamp when order was created. I like that. That's kind of cool. Constructor. That's passed on one time. So once the um, the the contract is deployed, this never changes. So the fee account and fee percent never changes you have to do a whole new a whole new thing and within that you get the address of the fee account in the, in the positive integer the over zero the, the numerical value god of the fee percent and then that's when they pass it so no matter what if it's in the state variable or the global variable um it's it's recognized oh i'm getting better at this man okay now deposit and withdraw token the function deposit token it's passing the token address and the, oh my God, the numerical factor, which is the amount, and it's public. That's where I was thinking about public. Okay, and then <clears throat> we have to transfer tokens to the MOMF forty nine exchange, which is required token and the to which is token underscore to transfer from the message I sender in this address right here, right here, son, and then the amount, and then the user update update the user balance with the token, so it's the message that sender's tokens is equal to the tokens. Oh my God. That's just a oh, plus amount. Okay, I'm like, that's just a play on words right there. It's like, yeah, it's the same thing, but plus the amount, the the, the uh, state variable amount. So anything underscores the state variable, and then the global is, which I still don't understand yet, but I will get there. Uh, emit an event, so emit deposit. So you need the token, the message I sender, the amount, and the tokens the state token variable that's i don't know and function withdraw token you need the address you need the token address and you need the amount and that's public ensure user has enough tokens to withdraw yeah require tokens okay so it has to have enough in there it requires that before this function could be um started transfer token to user so the tokens transfer the um, the message that senders amount that's just hard to even put in words. I'm not even going to try. Update user balance. So the token, the message I send this token is equal to the token the message with the underscore value, okay, whatever. Um, emit event, withdraw. So you need the token, the message, uh, the message that sender, the amount and tokens. Once again, I'm not quite sure how this all looks, <laughs> but one looks like, I don't know, the, the message that sender's token in the state variable. And the state variable, <laughs> I don't I have to figure that out. Function balance of, okay, so you get the address of the token and then the user of the token. So that's how you get the algorithm. And it's going to be a public view return. So it will be, the public can view it. And it'll be a positive number or a numerical factor. And returns the token and the user. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I'm assuming it's still under the public so people could see who the user is and, and that's the transparency part. So thank you very much. Take care. Okay. That was awesome. Part one of the exchange. Boop.